Hello, welcome to next egg degustation. This time, Tetley's Golden Ale, four percent ABV, perky and thirst, fetting, fetling, with a smudge of citrus. Tetley's Golden Ale, a special, specially brewed the Tetley's way with English barley malt, and intriguing array of hops and our famous Tetley's East. A beer of all trays, trades goes down a treat with Whitby fish and chips or a good curry known to shabby with Wensleydale. Either. Okay. Ingredients. Water. Malted barley. Hops. Uh, may contain traces of wheat. Be brewed and bottled in the UK. Joshua Tetley and Son. Okay. Nothing else. Well, Tetley is a brand of Carlsberg. Carlsberg. Uh, Black Cup. Well, very. Retro style. Ah, we will see. We will see. Right, quite nice carbonation looks like. A uh, fairly strong color. Clear. Had medium bubbles. From the top, it looks okay. Uh, you know what? Typical golden ale aroma. Uh, some caramel, maltiness, um, some hops, but not so much. Yeah, caramel. And maybe a little bit of wet cardboard. <sighs> but mostly caramel. Okay, let's have a try. Like you see, had uh, already died on the big bubbles left. But it's quite quite okay as for golden ale very very typical taste and aroma uh, from 70s <laughs> um, yes you know what it has bitterness quite a lot of butter um, then everything retire you have a little bit of bitterness bitterness is rather uh, little bit earthy, a little bit um, herbal but some grapefruity accents actually it's, it's okay uh, bitterness is short uh, nice it leaves a little bit after taste yeah it is a mixture of mm, herbal and graffiti accents. This is interesting actually. Uh, but taste itself is rather caramelly, butterscotch. Uh, well, it's very typical for Golden Age, definitely. Uh, now, 
you can have a question is this butterscotch how it should be or it's just the fault uh, yes diacetyl is not very <laughs> good in many styles uh, it's only distinctive for uh, Czech lagers, right? <laughs> it's present in almost every Czech beer, but English golden ale, butterscotch. Mm. But yes, it can be present. It can be present. Maybe you can say it's more toffee. Caramel and toffee. Um, but yes, it can be. Uh, you know what? It's, it's quite drinkable uh, and refreshing. And like I said, very typical taste and aroma for Golden A. Um, with every sip, the um, the acetyl is stronger and stronger. Uh, well, if you like it, okay, it gives you a little bit more texture, you know. Uh, but I don't know. It can be tiring. It can be tiring. B itself it's rather medium uh, to light but you know what bitterness is nice bitterness is nice in this beer uh, just questionable but bitterness is okay um, refreshing sessionable lots of diacetyl but if it was intended why not uh, tasty and aroma is rather typical for golden ale and that's it it's not like a Tetley's number three uh, it doesn't say that it was uh, brewed uh, especially by the small brewery, no, nothing like this. Uh, so most probably it's just uh, you know Carlsberg, Carlsberg. Okay, that least we got a name. Is it a um, bottled version of gold? Golden name. Hmm, can be. I don't know. Cask version is four point one. And bottle version be weaker? I don't know. Well, it is a question for every uh, everyone who tried that is gold and this one go, uh, that is golden ale to compare. Is it the same or not? Because I didn't try the no, that is gold from the top. I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I, I, I enjoyed this beer. It is sessionable and drinkable, yes. And with nice bitterness. So please like it, please subscribe my channel. And when you've done it already, hit the notification button and the shape of the bell. It will remind you of every new video on the channel so you will be up to date. So you will not miss any new LD stations. Cheers.